How many times has my generation bowed to pressure, bowed to excitement, bowed to pleasure? I was reading something on my father in the Lord's world to the Apostle Romeo Sai and yesterday night. And oh, it was late, early hours of the morning. And my heart leapt for joy. I was encouraged. In fact, tears came from my eyes. He shared a story about a painting. That this guy that drew the painting, the boy who drew the painting died at the age of 34. But one count, I can't even remember the name. The story was so powerful to me that I, I brooded upon it for long. Intensely encouraged in my, in my inner self. After I did the simple painting, one of the powerful men in the world at that time, I think it was a count, it was a lord or something, came and looked at that painting years later. And when he looked at this ordinary painting, the Lord struck his heart. And when he struck his heart, the guy fell before the painting, cried and gave his life to Christ. After giving his life to Christ, that guy went on to start a movement. That movement I have, I have used that movement to teach people prayer for many years. I didn't know this how the story started. He went up to start what we call the Moravians. Men and women who prayed for 100 years non-stop. They were the ones that began what you call missionary manpower work. Sending missionaries to different parts of the world. Just because of a painting that a 34-year-old did. And then Papa concluded by saying, hold on to your convictions. Even if they are unpopular now, they might be the salvation of generations unborn. You see, I don't preach to excite people. Eh? People may not like the kind of things that I say, but the people who have worked with me for years, who have followed the things I've taught for years, many times they come back 10 years after to say your words were salvation to my soul. 